And welcome back. It's time for this week's Capital Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBeatOK.com. Pat, uh, you always keep an eye on Treasurer Ken Miller's uh, monthly reports on gross receipts. Uh, latest news, not good. No, it's kind of glum, in fact. Uh, the gross receipts are lower for the month compared to a year ago. And for the first time in five years, the sum total of 12-month receipts were lower than the previous 12-month period. So you add that all up, it's a pretty grim picture. Collections down 4.6% this September compared to September of 2014. And it, that was the fifth month in a row that the monthly comparison was below what was projected. So sales taxes are down, the gross production tax is down. Uh, most categories of uh, receipts are down, some exceptions. However, there's still more than $24 billion to work with if you add up all of the sources of state government income. So one of the things that I uh, certainly want to echo the views of some others, I'm, I don't think this is the time to be looking at a tax increase. It's time to look for the right sizing of government that's never really come in wake of the Republican land side of 2010. So that's uh, my perspective on that. It'll be interesting to see how the government responds in time for the legislative session. All right, another item of interest this past week, uh, Representative Mike Christian uh, proposing a consolidation of state law enforcement agencies. Uh, what's up with that? It's an interesting idea. It's one that uh, the Oklahoma Council of Public Affairs floated many years ago, and uh, it seems like a good idea. Uh, he engaged in information sharing uh, with representatives of the various agencies. I'll be interested to see if they're actually supportive of this. It doesn't necessarily mean less money. It might mean that the constant run-up of uh, demands for increases in spending gets moderated or perhaps eliminated. I do believe it could administratively save some money over time. It makes sense. We're talking about uh, uh, public safety agency, we're talking about OSBI, the Bureau of Investigation and the Bureau of Narcotics. Have a director in charge of all of them, put many of the functions of those agencies under one person. I commend uh, Representative Christian for raising the idea and I would encourage him strongly to make it more than just symbolic. Finally, uh, the latest on capital punishment in Oklahoma. It looks like it's now going to be at least spring before the state might carry out another execution. An unusual coalition of people kind of making this happen. Yeah, uh, on Friday, the attorney general joined with the support of the three, uh, the attorneys for three current death row inmates, uh, the ones most likely to be the ones executed next if it resumes, uh, to call for uh, not to move forward on litigation touching the state's lethal injection protocols. Now, in a way, this puts uh, Pruitt ahead of the curve uh, and actually working with some opponents of capital punishment on a very important part of this issue. We'll see where it ultimately turns out. I commend my old friend, Tim Gungall, a lawyer in Enid, a fellow conservative who supports the call for a moratorium. Uh, we're in a very interesting time. And it, we have a few months to gnaw that yeah. bone, continue to talk about it. All right, well, you can read more about these and other topics at capitalbeatok.com. For Pat McGuigan, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.